We have Eddie Taylor on the phone today. Tell us what you got for us, Teddy. In the 1940s, the American Medical Association broadly promoted smoking cigarettes as a great health measure. It was all over the TV. The Tuskegee experiment went on for almost 100 years where black people were given syphilis to see how they do without an answer. So, folks, I'm not here to criticize any agency, your mother-in-law, your trusted doctor or attorney. I'm just saying you might want to educate yourself and hear what is really interesting that could be an antidote for the sickness of our times. Right now, the entire world is basically either sick or very concerned with being sick, and worse than that, is concerned with dying a little bit too early because of the big C, okay? And I'm not talking about cancer, although there's, although there's an epidemic of that, like never before, along with autism, diabetes, overweight, opioid crisis, etc. So after 100 years of synthetic medicine and promoters of synthetic molecules uh, for your health, for your body, uh, for your soil, which is where all the nutrients come from, from plants, the soil has been drugged for 100 years, okay? Through every kind of Monsanto, basically uh, diluted down Agent Orange that denuded 2 million acres, made it a moonscape within three years in, uh, in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War, okay? They're still trying to restore that soil. Uh, we have something that's just the opposite of Agent Orange, just the extreme opposite. It's a family of miracle molecules. Now, there are miracle molecules. Uh, water is one, H2O. Okay? Uh, the ATP, the energy molecule, it's actually a molecule, a simple sugar that runs every single cell. Without that, you can't run any cell, and you can't run, walk, or live. Okay? So... Let me just go further to tell people what I'm talking about as far as some very exciting solutions that are extremely affordable. I'm talking like two cups of coffee a day, okay? Legal, compliant, food grade, won't contradict the medication, drug, etc. Okay, these are things you can take, whether it's for your garden or your bad back. Uh, we don't make medical claims. We don't deal with treating or preventing any problem because these molecules get busy. They go down to the origin of why you could be healthier or not. They're engineers. They're nano engineers. Some are three angstroms. That is much smaller than nano. Nano is one billionth of one meter. I don't think you'll be looking at that in the near future. That takes an electron microscope. So this science is by legally compliant people. There's an American owned and operated family business for 30 years it has this science in the form of easy to use formulas uh they don't taste bad they don't smell bad and they're very very attractively packaged and recyclable material but let me go further why the goodness inside can come out while we're being invaded with every foreign agent uh 80,000 different things in our food and air, uh, gladly admits the Environmental Protection Agency for 50 years. All over the world, the wind currents have uh, carried 80,000 different synthetic, man-made, for the most part, totally untested. The EPA says, well, you know, we're just a little busy releasing more of these foreign things, and we can't test hardly any of them, but we, do, we, I, we think we're, they're safe. So, folks, you're not going to stop this machine, okay? Not in the near future, but uh, before you decide to ban some big nasty uh, agency or group and think they're wicked, okay, uh, consider un unleashing the power within you, within each cell. These miracle molecules do that. Look at the miracle molecules in medical-grade cannabis, which now, after 70 years of global suppression, Many doctors, many medical doctors, and I'm not against any doctor, attorney, Indian chief, Republican or Democrat. I'm for life science. Okay? Life science, and folks, it's here in spades after 30, 50, actually 200 years of research and development by many companies, PhDs from dozens of countries. Uh, the company I'm hinting, hinting about, I'm going to reveal in another interview. I just want people to ponder the logic, the geologic of this science, okay? It's a big subject, 
to put it in 15 minutes. It might take me another 15 minutes later. So the getting back to medical grade cannabis, it's highly touted now by many doctors, biochemists, naturopaths, uh, uh, blood specialists, uh, medical grade cannabis, uh, virtually popping up all over the world now. Even the most suppressed countries are starting to say, wow, uh, look at Mexico. That's a G7. That's a big, fat, uh, heavily... Uh, populated and a very, very productive, financially productive company, all looking at green lighting cannabis, okay? So look at medical grade cannabis. It's a miracle molecule, it's a molecule. It's an actual structure, okay? Uh, it has 130 components. Uh, <laughs> CBD oil, CBD oil is a, such a complex family of molecules it has a known 130 beneficial, help you sleep better, get over that knee pain after you're 75 you can't get rid of for 20 years. Those kinds of things happen, okay? So there could be 300 compounds in cannabis that are beneficial. If you don't get the, the cannabis from China that has heavy metals in it, and knockoffs from here in the States, so they don't show you their certificate of analysis and how clean the soil is that they grew that cannabis in. So getting back to these molecules, how many known compounds that are beneficial do these family of molecules have? By comparison, cannabis has a known 130, could have 300. The number of known beneficial micro trace compounds in one of these molecules alone, one category of these molecules is 50,000, 50,000 known trace organic compounds made by nature, made by nature after 75 million years of endless beneficial microbes, minerals, plants from the most ancient epoch called the Cretaceous era, Cretaceous. C-R-E-T-A-C-E-O-U-S. About that time, whether it was India or South Chicago, 75 million years ago, uh, give or take maybe 55, so it could be a span of 200 million years ago, all over the world was, was this era. Uh, there was no World Trade Center or someone to hate a president or talk about a plot. Humans didn't exist. They weren't invented. They came along much later in the cycle. Okay, but well, what was going on then? Uh, Brontosaurus trucking around with a payload of about 220 tons, eating this vegetation. Uh, hey, that that thing was a vegetarian. How in the world could something with a seven-inch jaw keep walking around with 220 pounds under its pants? Okay, uh, the Brontosaurus even exists. The nutrient-rich rich density was off the chart, something that scientists are barely comprehending. It all had to do with these molecules in the air, water, and land. They were engineered after eons by innumerable beneficial microbes. Beneficial microbes. For every nasty germ and virus somebody made in a lab or not, there's billions, in a case of viruses, there are trillions. You couldn't count the friendly viruses. You can't have a placenta. You can't have a baby without viruses. This is how little is being released about how we really work. I'm not saying all viruses are the messiah. Obviously, some could kill you, okay? Uh, TB is a virus. Tuberculosis is a virus. Ebola is a killer. Am I going to act like that doesn't exist? Hey, no, okay? But what doesn't exist does exist is a supreme kind of super new biology and life science that everybody can use and maybe never understand. No one's ever been able to patent any of this, Alan. For 200 years, all the big pharma and big medicine, synthetic medicine drug makers have known about this. Absolutely. The first study was done in 1786 by William Achard. He said, hmm, this stuff is mighty good for plants and soil. He called it, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to keep a little mystery here. Okay. Uh, but the main thing is, uh, this is here for everybody and it'd be powerful. It'd be powerful. And, uh, there are 300 studies, uh, done by, collected by one company alone. 
That company went to Idaho and with these molecules increased Idaho potato production. Now they've been working on Idaho potato production because they got to make McDonald's uh, French fries. So Idaho grows maybe more potatoes than any place in the world. Okay, They secretly use some of these molecules. Uh, the potatoes grow 170%. 176% better. Terpenes and cannabis have gone up. 177% better. You mean doubled its size as well? Well, no, I'm That's wrong. Basically what I'm you're wrong. Saying. Well, see, that they may not be bigger, but there are a lot more of them. The yield, the total yield was 176% higher yield. Wow. I'm, not, I'm not saying they were 100 pound potatoes. I'm saying there are a lot more of them, and the nutrition value is off the chart. Okay, See, we well, have... we've got about four minutes left, so uh, okay. continue, please. Hey, I have something exciting for you all in four minutes. You folks call out and say, I don't believe it, I'm a troll. Well, you get your bones on a Zoom call I'll set up for free, no obligation, and you can kick my grill and see if this is true. I'm not selling nothing because I can't. I'm not paid to sell anything. I do take this product. There are a dozen, dozen maybe 100 versions all around the world. Uh, my claim to fame is because I have no agenda. Nobody pays me. I try to find the very best for the consumer. So, okay, troll, if you're not going to be too nasty, uh, I know you're going to be a little nasty, but I'm not inviting trolls, really, but they'll show up sooner or later no matter what. And they, have, they need something to do. I was once many kinds of trolls, you know, a real nasty person. I'm a little less nasty now because of this. So Zoom call, I'll set it up on, on a one-day notice for anyone that hears this show. And I don't care if you're a doctor, a truck driver, a teenager, skeptic, business person, entrepreneur, health pro, let's get it on. I hear that. All right, well, that was uh, Eddie Taylor on the phone. Thank you very much for showing up today, and you have a great day, okay? And let's rip it, folks. Let's get into it. What if it's true? What if what I just said is true? All righty, thank you.